Okay, so with this project, you're going to need two of these glass bowls from the Dollar Tree, two of the candlestick holders from the Dollar Tree. I have some spray glue, some painter's tape. Um, you can use either the fix-all glue or the um, super glue or even maybe hot glue. Um, I'm going to use Mod Podge and some silver glitter and you'll also need a sponge brush along with your tea light candles. So first I'm going to begin by moving all of this to the side. And I'm going to start by taking this painter's tape and I'm going to just set my pattern with it. I'm just going to start at the top of it. And I'm just going to make it as even as possible all the way around. You want to make sure that it's stuck to the glass real good. And this is what it should look like. So I'm going to take more of the painter's tape, but I will repeat the same process with the bottom of the glass. And that's what it should look like and this is where I'm going to create my pattern first I want to make sure that my glasses clean up any fingerprints and you can use alcohol or either window cleaner or warm water I am using alcohol Also repeated the same thing with the other jar as well so now I'm just gonna take this wax paper I'm gonna pour some Mod Podge in it and then I'm gonna sprinkle some glitter on top and I'm gonna stir it up and this glitter is silver and it came from the Dollar Tree so I'm just gonna take this glitter and I'm gonna pour it 
in with the Mod Podge. And these tubes are real little, so you will have to have a couple of them if you're going to make more than one set. And you can also take the Mod Podge and just brush it onto the glass and then sprinkle the glitter. But it's easier this way because it's less mess. So now I'm just going to take my jar and I'm just going to brush it along the gap on the glass and that way once it dries I will go over it with a second coat and see how it looks and possibly a third coat to give it more sparkle. I'll complete the same process with the other jar. And that's how it should look. So I'm going to set this aside to dry for about maybe an hour and see how it's progressing. If it's not dry enough, I will wait a little longer and then I will come back and then I will go over with a second coat. Okay, so this has only been about 20 minutes and it still seems kind of wet. And actually it's good that it's still wet because you want to tear the the tape off before it dries completely. So what I did is I um, took some about a teaspoon of glitter and about a tablespoon of crushed glass that I had in this jar. And while this is still wet, I'm actually still just going to go over it again with some of the glitter in the Mod Podge. And as I go, I'm going to sprinkle some of this crushed glass and glitter on top of it.
and I'll complete the same thing with the other glass. I'm not going to use as much crushed glass that I want, but you can use as much as you want. You can use a lot and just sprinkle glitter on top, or you can use less like I am. I'm going to let this dry for about 10 minutes and then I'll come back and I'll take the paper off before it dries completely. So it's been about 5 minutes and of course it's not dry all the way and that's a good thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue by taking off the tape and then I will set it aside to dry for about maybe an hour until it completely dries. And that's what your pattern should look like. So I already removed the tape from the other glass. I'm going to set this aside to dry for about an hour. If it's not completely dry, then I will wait until it's completely dry. And then I will go over it with a third coat. And I will continue with the process on to making my well decorating my candle holders okay so now that the glasses are dry this is what it should look like and now I'm just going to take my candlestick holder and I'm going to take the silver bling wrap I'm going to cut into a three row strip and then I'm going to just glue it around the neck of the glass with some hot glue
And that's what it should look like. So now I'm going to just, I'm going to, I've decided to use the hot glue for video purposes because I'm going to end up using this candle holder stick for another project. So I'm going to take this hot glue and I'm just going to place it along the top of the rim and then I'll place it on the bottom of the bowl. You want to make sure that it's in the middle as close as possible. Then you just want to hold it for a few seconds. Then it should look like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these chandelier pieces. And I will be gluing them around the top part of this pattern. You can complete it as far as taking it on the bottom as well. But I'm just going to do the top part. I'm not going to do the bottom and the top. So I'm just going to begin by taking some hot glue. And I'm just going to place it right at the top of where the, where the pattern starts. I'm just placing the hot glue on each one of these crystals. And that's how it should look. And once again, you can take the crystals and go along the bottom of it as well. Um, it'll be just as pretty, but I'm just going to use the one layer. So next you will want to just make sure that your glass is clean of all the fingerprints and the glue strings. <laughs> 